All right, what's up boys and girls? Haven't been doing any videos lately because I haven't done anything lately. Kids have been playing sports and that's took it up a lot of time in, in the school year and all that. So we're on the summer stretch. Hopefully we can get some work done. But I've been collecting parts and pieces. As you can see, it's all scattered around here, not organized at all. We got a little flip up gas cap for the uh, buggy. I thought that was pretty cool, you know, like that. So anyway we've got other parts we went and got some tires don't need tires just this moment but i heard that tires might get hard to get with prices and supply chain problems so i decided i might as well buy them i looked at some of the um really cool 60 looking tires you know the red line ones and all that and the uh pro track ones i really like that they look right on spot on for style Except for price, you know, two fifty for a front each front tire and three to five hundred dollars for rear tires. I I couldn't do that, you know. Couldn't pay a thousand, almost a thousand dollars for rear tires and another five hundred dollars for front. I'm not made of money, so I bought Cooper Cobra GTs. The front tires are two fifteen sixty five fifteens, which are pretty decent sized tire. And uh, they have a decent looking tread on them. The rear tires are 295 50 15s. And um, I was debating between BF Goodrich and um, Cooper's. And the tread kind of won me out mostly. And, and the Cooper's are slightly cheaper. Not, not a huge amount, but they are slightly cheaper. But the tread looked better to me on the Cooper Cobras. They both have the white letters on them. You know, so they're they're pretty much the same in that styling. Um, but like I say, the, the tread pattern just looked a little more aggressive to me. So um, the BF Goodrich just had a little better size tire for the front, though. That was probably the one thing that really made me hung on to wanting to do BF Goodrich's. The front tire was a little better size than this, but that's what I got. And we got rims for it. We've had these for over a year. I don't think I've shown anybody these on the channel. So I want this thing to look kind of old school. And to me, nothing says more old school than um, slotted mags or American Racing Wheels. All right. Well, American Racing Wheels have been done on these things a million times. And Kregers. Um, Kregers would have been in 68. That's what... Um, Bruce was selling on these things. But Kregers are kind of overdone, and they don't sell reverse, reverse offset anymore, amazingly. So go look that up. You can't really find that. So anyways, I went with the slot of mags. I'm kind of going for the 70s look, not for the 60s. And we got American Race, American U.S. mags. Sorry, I keep saying it wrong. U.S. mags, Anson style, I guess you'd say, slotted mags. And these are the rear. These are 10-inch. Yeah, 15 rim, 10 inch deep, with the bolt-on cap in the four lug Volkswagen pattern. All right, those are the four on 130 pattern, and as you can see, those are pretty good. That's that lip is every bit of three and a half inches, almost four. So I'm glad I got these when I did. I bought them well over a year ago. Fiasco of shipping. Um, they were a signed for item, and the UP, the FedEx guy it's it's silly you know they, they send you the thing we're coming tomorrow are you going to be there and i said no and so i and it asked okay what days will you be there and i told them the days i'd be there they came every day that i said i would not be here all right and then they wanted to ship them back to california <laughs> so finally the uh guys at the wheel shop in california can't remember their name right now called them up and they got it shipped to uh, Kinko's or something that I could just go pick it up because that was ridiculous that they came every single day I was not here and every day I was home which is a lot by the way they uh, didn't come by so anyways got those 1510s for the rear and 15.5s for the front all of them in the Volkswagen pattern I'm not sure if they still offer them in that um, there was a guy on the Samba scene that I had these and he asked where I got them from, and I told him, and he was saying that the people were telling them that they are no longer available. 
Now, they didn't have them in stock. They had the blanks in stock. They had basically wheels without drilled centers in stock, and they actually drilled it. So I had to wait for these to come, and I guess they dropped shit from the factory or something. I don't know. But um, unique, and I'm glad I got those because I'm not sure if you can get them anymore. I know if you go look for real early, you know, vintage ones, those are hard to find 15. 14, 13s are big, but... Next thing we got lately is rear brakes. Rear brakes was a fiasco. That's everything with this thing. So, the brakes. This is CB Performance's kit. I like CB's kits. They have the nice heavy duty brackets in their kits, not the stamp folded steel stuff like the $200 brake kits have. Um, the hardware is nice. The e brake cables are nice. They have instructions. I just like these a lot better. Um, I really wanted the, what they call the roto hub, where the the rotor and the hub are all one piece, just because it's cheaper, and I thought the parts might be more available for that. But that, when I ordered this a couple of months ago now, couldn't get them. They didn't have any of those in stock. Check CIP for the cheapo kits. They didn't have any in stock. Everybody was out of stock. So I had to go with CB's Pro Race ones. And, of course, they come with the heavy-duty brackets, but the difference is they use a steel center hub, kind of like a Type 3. All right. And then it uses a 914 rotor that goes on top of this. So I still have the ability to get rotors and stuff like that locally. Um, just this is a much more extensive kit. It's quite a bit, I think it was well over $100 more. But it's all they had in stock. So that's kind of what I had to get, you know. Um, then we got some other parts. We got ball joints. Silly me ordered four lower ball joints. Why'd I do that? I don't know. I, I was clicky crazy, I guess, that night. And we got a weighted pulley from CB, but it's not CB brand. Um, it is Latest Rage brand. So. I thought that was a little interesting. I know some of these companies, SCAT does it. SCAT repackages some of the generic stuff that's empty. And apparently CB does some of the generic stuff at, from Latest Rage. We got seals for the front beam. We got lug nuts. We got tie rods. These are chrome tie rods. An interesting thing, they have um, on sale. These are two inch narrow chrome tie rods. I don't need two inch narrowed. I don't need a chrome tie rod, but the deal was they're like less than 30 bucks for a pair of chrome tie rods and it showed it with the ends on it. I was like, boy, if it has the ends on it, it's cheaper than actually buying the parts. So I just bought it as that and if anybody I know needs a set of narrow tie rods, I'll have them. Sure enough, they came with the ends. So, you know, that was a pretty good deal there. Oil cooler, we got their aluminum push rods 3 8 um, supposed to be their super duty aluminum push rods these are not the tapered ones um, I didn't really see the need for going tapered because I'm not going that high lift or anything where I think I'll need that switches for the dash of course alternator pulley their uh, super duper belt and things like that so we've got some parts here to start working on the chassis and we need to bring the chassis over here and start working on it. Now, interesting thing about all this is when I ordered all this, like I say, the brake kit was only available in the one style. And, you know, everything's kind of getting hard to get. They shipped it out. It went out to their UPS's facility in California to do the first transfer over, and it just disappeared. I waited several days, and it just never went anywhere else. It said it was checked in, but never checked out to leave to get on a truck. So I called CB up. Well, actually emailed them. And um, they got on it right away. They are like, okay, you know, we'll start a claim because it's been two two days and hasn't moved anywhere. I sent them screenshots of the UPS um, thing saying when it arrived and it hadn't left. So UPS, of course, takes like a day to look for it. And it's not there. Also, a gas tank. I got a gas tank with it all. So the gas tank was there in two boxes like this. Three boxes total. Anyway, you know, it's not there. They, uh, brain fart. 
they looked for it, I guess, and couldn't find it. You know, it's probably on somebody's car. The box probably ripped open, and somebody said, ooh, there we go. Anyway, CB Performance went above and beyond because, you know, they could have just been like, well, dude, we shipped it out. It's your problem. It's the shipper. But they went and put a claim on it. They got um, the claim resolved, like, in a couple of days, and they shipped me the rest of the stuff. They put the other stuff, a new batch of stuff, in boxes and sent it to me. And amazingly, they had everything. That's what I was really scared of, is not getting this or that, you know, missing things. They had everything and got it out. So, you know, can't say enough for that. Because they could have just said, hey, that's not our problem. You know, that's UPS, you're on your own. Anyways, got all that stuff. We got the brackets for the rear of the pans. Um, we got a new gas tank in there. We got tubing for the exhaust. We got most of this is all engine parts, believe it or not. You know, like forged AA pistons here. Which, yeah, the Fords, I was surprised, don't have any coating on them like the uh, Hypertechs do. Some Panchito heads and all that good stuff, and it's all in here. JC's really expensive full flow cover. We're going to try this out. So it's kind of like a take on the Berg. It has a pressure relief. And instead of just relieving it, Berg, all right, this is the outlet to the filter. So it'd be the side for most people. And Berg, what he does, he just relieves it onto the other side of the pump. Like it pushes over here and it goes back in the inlet. And it just round robs. And there's nothing wrong with that. But um, JC does, I mean, it could maybe cause cavitation, I guess you could say. But JC's actually relieves it back into the um, engine sump, into the case on the sump, by the Type 3 fitting. So this is the plate that normally would block it off. There's a little AN fitting on there and a special little AN adapter deal here. Like $200 for this thing, so I'm hoping it works nicely. But I figured if people are using it, there must be a reason he wouldn't make something just to make it. I mean, come on, you know. He could just make the cover a lot easier than that, that crazy bin and stuff. That, we got the mag plate for the CB sump with the magnet in it and a drain plug. Um, I need to buy another one of these. Block off plate for the Webers. It says block off plates, but when you get it, it's only one. Because I, I didn't think for the price they were selling this that I'd get two, but I should have ordered more than that. So I gotta order one of those. Um, we got seat covers. I don't know if anybody's seen those. They're in here for the 914 seats that are over here. They have orange plaid down the center of them. So we gotta put that all in there. But first, I need to clean the garage out so that I can get the chassis in here, boys and girls. So that's a little take of what we've been doing. We've just been collecting parts and not doing anything else. So I'll see you guys later. Get out there and get your projects going because I sure got to get my projects going. I got to get this garage cleaned out so I can do some work. Don't forget to like and subscribe, boys and girls.